Woods to Mr. Fly here, got myself a new crash helmet. This is the uh, HJC RPHA 11. Bit of a tongue twister that. Uh, Arthur 11, something like that. Anyway, whatever it's called, it's uh, the new uh, helmet from HJC for sports bikes. It's uh, something I've been after for a while because my Sherry has been getting a little bit long in the tooth. And uh, other helmets I've tried just haven't worked out on this bike. So stick around and stay tuned for the next few minutes and I'll tell you all there is to know about the HJC RPHA 11. So the first thing I noticed with the uh, new HJC helmet is the fact that it feels very lightweight. It's so much lighter than any of my other helmets and uh, that makes it really nice to wear. It's surprising you think once you've got the helmet on your head you don't notice the weight but you very much do. Try a light one and see what that feels like, really good. The other thing is the visibility out is fantastic. It's built specifically for sports bikes this helmet uh, and it's got a particularly wide aperture on the visor. Uh, and one of the problems I've had with previous helmets is that uh, I haven't been able to sort of tap down and look out without, you know, seeing the top of the lid. We well, don't have this problem on this helmet. Uh, this is uh, absolutely fine as far as visibility is concerned. I've got a really wide field of view and I can see out the top really nicely. So I came out nice and late this evening for a ride because the traffic would die down. Of course, there's not so much traffic, but uh, guess who's out on the road in front of me? Yep, it's White Van Man. You can never get away from him. If you live in the southeast, you'll meet him all the time. I've got to get in the White Van business. From a wind noise point of view, I have to say this helmet is very, very quiet. I have got my earplugs in as usual, but I'm really not noticing much wind noise at all. There's been some quite extensive testing of the shape of the lid in the wind tunnel, and it seems to have paid off because it really is quite a quiet helmet. Now, it's obviously uh, brand new, so I'm properly hamster cheeked in here at the moment. So it's going to be interesting to see over time how comfortable she is. But at the moment, I haven't got any undue pressure on my forehead or anything like that. And I'm pleased to say, as a glasses wearer, my glasses fit in here absolutely fine. There's no pressure on the side of my head or anything like that. Okay, let's head back to the uh, man cave then. And I'll show you some of the features and functions on the helmet. Okay, so, so much for the uh, helmet on the bike. What about some of the actual uh, design features and functions then, once you're off the bike? Well, the thing that I would say about it, first of all, that strikes me is number one, it is very lightweight, not only when you've got it on your head, but actually, you know, when you're holding it as well. The weight on the back, it says it's uh, 1,300 grams uh, net. Uh, so that's certainly, I think, one of the lightest helmets that I've got, and it feels light, as I say, on your head and when you hold it. Um, it's made of uh, a special material. I have to write this down, let's get this right. The material it's made from is a carbon fiber, aramid and carbon glass hybrid uh, material. And that's what gives it its enhanced shock resistance performance and its, um, and its lightness. Um, so it's pretty fancy stuff. And then as far as the inside is concerned, it's got a lovely finish to this helmet all around. It really is a premium bit of kit. I think this is one of the nicest helmets I've ever actually seen. It's certainly the nicest helmet I've currently owned in terms of luxury feel. It's got this really nice finish here. The padding is really nice and soft. The clasp, it's got one of these double D clips, which I really like because um, it just means the thing just feels secure on your head, you can get it adjusted nicely. And it just finished in that nice gold, it looks really good. Um, so I love all that, it's got the quick release um, cheek pads as well with the emergency tabs that you pull. Uh, love all that, and I, I just think it's a, a really nicely designed helmet. Now, uh, the good thing with it as well is not only is there great view, as I mentioned when I was on the bike, out of it, but there's also loads of ventilation, they're really easy to control as well, with these little um, thumb wheels on the top here. You've got this bit of ventilation at the, at the front there as well, you've got um, this clip here, so you can open it up at the front, is very easy to use when you're gloved. Um, and the thing just seems to work. And then there's an exhaust port at the back as well, of course. So there we are. And then when you buy it, uh, another nice feature with it is uh, it comes not only with a clear visor, but it also comes with a light smoked visor as well. Um, and it comes already with, uh, with a pin lock, the, you know, the double glazing, so that if your glasses wear like me, you don't get the fogging and the, and the steaming up, which is excellent. This visor on here, I've actually got the dark smoke one that I fitted, which isn't uh, suitable for road use, of course, uh, but I like the look of the very dark visor. So in terms of what you get with it, you get the helmet, of course, it comes with a nice bag, as they all do these days, and then you get, that's the, uh, the light tint visor that you get with it, and then 
also a clear visor as well if you're going to be riding at night. So you get, you get everything you need. It also even comes with a comprehensive uh, instruction manual. In terms of pricing, as I say, it is a premium helmet, so it is quite expensive. Uh, the cheapest I've seen on the internet, I think the sports bike shop, $469.99. I'll just double check that. Obviously, this is at time of filming. Yeah, $469.99 at the sports bike shop. There are, of course, other stockists. I've got absolutely nothing to do with sports bike shop. They haven't given me a helmet or anything. Um, this is, uh, you know, they're just uh, one of the suppliers that I like. Um, I'll stick a link, uh, a website uh, link below in the description to Oxford Products. They're the people that distribute these uh, in this uh, country, so you can get all the details that you want on the helmet there, should you be interested to get one. Okay, I hope that's been of some interest to you. I'm looking forward to using this to death over the next, uh, well, not to death, bad choice of phrase. Looking forward to really using this a lot in the next uh, few years, and uh, I'm sure you're going to see it in a lot of my videos. Okay, hope that's been of some interest. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Listen and Fly. Cheerio.